In the waning days of World War II, the Martin Baker MB.5 aimed to dethrone the iconic Spitfire as the RAF's premier fighter. Let's explore the MB.5's valiant but ultimately unsuccessful quest, delving into the challenges it faced and the enduring legacy of the Spitfire. So, what were the technical and logistical hurdles that hindered the MB.5's quest for dominance? Let's find out. The Martin Baker MP.5, while a promising British fighter aircraft developed during World War II, ultimately failed to replace the legendary Spitfire for a variety of reasons. To understand this failure, we must delve into the historical, technical, and strategic aspects of the two aircraft. Timing played a critical role in the MB.5's inability to replace the Spitfire. The development of the MB.5 began relatively late in the war in the early 1940s at a time when the Spitfire had already established itself as one of the most iconic and effective fighter aircraft of the conflict. The Spitfire's roots traced back to the late 1930s when it was designed by R.J. Mitchell, and it had undergone continuous improvements and iterations. By the time the MBP.5 entered the scene, the Spitfire had not only proven itself in combat, but it had become a symbol of British resistance and technological prowess. In contrast, the MBP.5 was a newcomer, and wartime pressures demanded aircraft that were reliable and well understood. The Spitfire had undergone years of operational refinement and had addressed many of its initial design flaws. It had earned the trust of pilots and ground crews who understood its strengths and weaknesses. The MB.5, on the other hand, was an unproven entity. Pilots and military decision-makers were understandably cautious about transitioning to a new aircraft late in the war, as they preferred the familiar Spitfire. The timing of the MB.5's production readiness was also unfortunate. By the time it was prepared for large-scale manufacturing, the war in Europe was drawing to a close. The urgency for a new fighter had diminished as the immediate threat from the Luftwaffe had significantly receded. The Spitfire was still available in significant numbers, and the infrastructure for its maintenance and supply of spare parts was well established. Transitioning to the MB.5 would have been costly and logistically challenging, so was it just the wrong timing? Not really, there is more. The technical challenges faced by the Martin Baker MB.5 were indeed a significant factor contributing to its failure to replace the Spitfire. One of the key issues was the choice of its power plant, the Napier Sabre engine. While the Sabre engine was known for its impressive power and potential, it came with a host of technical difficulties. One major problem was related to cooling. The Sabre engine generated a substantial amount of heat due to its high power output. Cooling an engine under combat conditions where aircraft were subjected to extreme temperature variations and potential battle damage was a formidable challenge. The engine's cooling system required intricate engineering and had to be meticulously designed to avoid overheating. This added complexity and uncertainty to the MB.5's development, delaying its progress significantly. Reliability was another issue with the Sabre engine. In a fast-paced wartime environment, reliability was paramount for any fighter aircraft. The Spitfire's Rolls-Royce Merlin engine, by contrast, had a well-established track record for its dependability. It had powered various successful Spitfire variants, earning the trust of pilots and ground crews. This reliability was critical as it reduced downtime for maintenance and increased the overall operational readiness of the aircraft. The delays and technical challenges associated with the Sabre engine hindered the MPP.5's production prospects. The Spitfire, benefiting from its dependable power plant, continued to be readily available and well-maintained throughout the war. This made the transition to a new aircraft like the MB.5 less attractive from a logistical and operational perspective. Moreover, the Spitfire's combat record was impressive, further cementing its status as the RAF's premier fighter. It had demonstrated exceptional performance in various roles, from defending British skies during the Battle of Britain to escorting bombers, conducting reconnaissance missions, and engaging in ground attack operations. Its adaptability and effectiveness in different combat scenarios made it a reliable and versatile workhorse. The post-war landscape also played a critical role in the Spitfire's enduring legacy and the MBP.5's decline. As World War II came to an end, the aviation world was on the cusp of a significant technological shift toward jet propulsion. Jet aircraft were becoming the new frontier of aviation technology, and the era of piston engine fighters, to which both the Spitfire and MB.5 belonged, was drawing to a close. The Spitfire, while not a jet aircraft, had laid a solid foundation for British aviation expertise, which would be applied to jet fighter development in the post-war years. The MB.5, 
A piston engine aircraft seems somewhat outdated in this changing landscape, further diminishing its appeal as a replacement for the Spitfire.